tune in to Chatty Cathy, where she talks about anything and everything, whether it's germ. Yeah, you know, okay, or, like, oh, they, well, it is a good workout, and they are supposed to perspire, but... Smoky. Cigarettes would just burn, and it would do this little curl on it, so they hardly Almost inhale. Almost like incense. <laughs> yeah, right. Tattooing. Flowers only exist to attract pollinators. <laughs> Are you looking for a pollinator? Is that what you're saying? Perhaps. <laughs> or cheating. We don't know. He only he knows. Einstein, did you cheat? Kathy and her guests will discuss issues relevant to our daily lives. I, I have no drinks because I'm the host. I'm so fanatical. I wash my hands all the time at home. When I shake people's hands, it's kind of a scary thing. You don't touch your eyes, exactly. you don't touch your nose, you don't touch your mouth. Your mucous because membrane. That's, that's where it's going to enter. And I rarely get sick. I mean, I, I've been sick with what? What did I have? Nothing. When I lived in, when I lived, <laughs> I've never oh, been sick. sick. Oh, yes. I've never of been sick course. a day in my life. It's because she's a germaphobic. No, <laughs> I see parents. The kid drops yes. the food on the floor, or the no, pacifier, okay. they lick the pacifier. Ten second rule. And th but that's it's a, a ten second rule. But ten that's ridiculous. Rule. <laughs> and they I've heard that one too. <laughs> and they stick oh, it in the kid's mouth. He juiced everything. He juiced dandelions from the yard. Dandelion. He juiced carrots. He juiced anything he could find that wasn't poisonous, he would juice. And he had this garlic, and he took all these cloves and put them in the juicer, and then he just went, let me roll your cup. I, I have no germs, because I'm the host. Are you sure? Okay, so... <laughs> So uh, Jim, would, he just gulped it down really fast, and he said, I went, and all of a sudden his stomach, and he hit the floor, and he's just going, oh, my stomach, oh. oh so then he went to work, and his boss walked into the room, the restaurant, and said, what's that smell? It's mm -hmm. you. And Jim's like, uh, yeah, I had garlic, and he sent him home because it was so oh, strong. And how did you choose the, these, this design, the design that's on your body? Um, I decided to go ahead and go with fruits and flowers. Um, it's a very feminine idea. Um, basically, fruits and flowers only exist to attract pollinators. So, so are you looking for a pollinator? Is that what you're saying? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> My husband never wants to go with me. He gets drained. Mm -hmm. And I could say I understand because when he goes to Home Depot or Lowe's, I can't even handle it. It's like, oh, I get so there's a weight on me. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how he feels with shoes and clothes. I get so bored looking at hinges. <laughs> and then there are those men that like big butts. <laughs> I will not lie. There's a song about that. <laughs> I like big butts. I will not lie. Is that I like big butts and I will not lie. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... Well, Einstein might have cheated. He married an intelligent woman. Oh, he did? Yes. Did she help him out? Yes. No, That's what I Mary. Heard. That's what I heard. Mary. We don't know. He only he knows. Einstein, did you cheat? My hair would <laughs> smell like smoke. My skin would smell like smoke. My clothes would smell like smoke. Is that why they used to have smoking jackets? Because you know, <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that yours is broken. How broken. did you break yours? Yes, that means I was a very busy beauty queen that year. <laughs> Uh, your crown is not broken by the end. If you haven't repaired it, you weren't doing your job. Back in the 80s, they did the, the most prominent surgery was nasal surgery. Really? Yes, <laughs> nasal. But now it's implants, tummy tucks, ears, lips, lipo. you know, lipo. Do you remember in the 80s, it was the beauty queens, the Miss Texas ladies, five mm -hmm. years in a row, they won five years in a row, and back then they used to train them and they used to have to get their ribs taken out. <gasps> Yes, ma'am. They used to have to they knock their, 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 their bottom rib, yeah, so that their waist would come in. And That's so ridiculous. I'm sorry it is. Mm -hmm. um, unless you took down <laughs> <laughs> have, have you? No, no. Okay. no but no. I feel like I lost I a few. Right now. <laughs> it's the same as it's been During my years. pregnancy, I felt like I lost a few ribs from my son kicking it. And okay. I wore pantyhose during the swimsuit phase. Is that what normally you do? <laughs> no. Really? No, 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 but you can't. You can for the Mrs. America and Miss, Miss, um, Mrs. Hawaii. And why so, did you do that? You want to keep it firm and tight. You don't want it jiggling in front of the judges. That's right. A lot of people always think it's elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, but it's you want to make sure you don't do this too much because of the skin. You know, you don't want you your mean skin. Flap? You, you know, just don't want your skin. Can you to wear pantyhose on your own? <laughs> 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 yeah, they should make them. Tune in every Sunday mm -hmm. evening at 6:30 p.m. on Channel 54 for Chatty Kathy, where you'll see me and my guests. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.